Hello everyone, I am Jason. I am uh, Charlene's first uh, form and I would like to thank everyone for being here to celebrate my mom's life. I'm going to tell you the story of her life. And since I am her firstborn, I think I have a unique perspective of, perspective of two young souls falling in love, starting their cowboy journey out west in search of a new life. But instead of cowboys and Indians, they started with a school bus and a Dodge Power Wagon and clothes on their backs. <laughs> they arrived in Glenwood Springs on Strawberry Days in 1978. Then on September 12, 1979, I was given life. As I gazed into her brown eyes, I witnessed her amazing soul and how much she loved life. I also witnessed the fear of being so young and having a child to be responsible for. And she loved me so much. Then, 364 days later, for my first birthday, I got my baby sister. <laughs> Second birthday, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this thing called life started with pony rides around Mount Sopras to prospecting the mountains of the Roaring Fork Valley, looking for a pot of gold. Then came some rough years that ended that chapter of her life. In 1985, she found her pot of gold in Timothy Agut. She was initially stubborn to, to go out on a date, but Tim knew it was love at first sight. In 1990 came my brother Julian. We traveled around some of the world seeing Civil War sites. Corning Glassworks, Mickey in Florida, Redwood Forest, Mexico, and Hawaii, where I found my second love, the ocean. Our pets, Falcor, had an overactive snot gland or something, <laughs> so you would come home to walls covered in boogers. A trio who would like to piss on your face. <laughs> then came Akima, who would roll around in bear shit and then want to cuddle. <laughs> then we had Carly, she was scared of just about everything. Then for a short time, a, short time, a fat little iris who snorted like a pig. <laughs> then came Minnie, who sings a poor me song, but not given a hint. Reggie, who was going blind and will eat just about anything. Mom loved her animals. The holidays, November and December. Ah, the smell of cookies upon the air. The tins piled high, waiting to be become gifts that she could give to show people that she cared. Thanksgiving and Christmas were her favorites. She loved to cook with her, with and for her family or anyone in need of a meal. I always got to make the gravy with her. Christmas, my lo mom loved Christmas. that holiday. The Christmas tree was decorated with treasures of our past. The presents stacked what seemed to be 10 feet wide with bags of clothes and fuzzy socks to warm our little toes. Grandchildren with grins and candy canes at 8 a.m. at all the presents that their names were on them. Stocking stuff to the point of bursting with candy, dental floss, little puzzle games, and most people's favorite money. <laughs> but when you sit here and write something like this, all you wish for is a little more time. We took in people when they needed a helping hand. It is amazing how many people I call family. My family is one of a kind. It hurts to think I never get to hear her voice say I love you anymore. But I can feel the love that she had through her death. I have grown. I strive to be a better father, a better lover of the world, embrace that I'm a highly sensitive man, to fight for a better future for my children and her grandchildren, and this earth, in, a, in other words, be like my mom. As this chapter of my life comes to a close, I venture into the great unknown with new and old family members as my heart opens to a new world of learning, loving, and writing to see where these things take us as I explore the great puzzle known as life, where clues to the universe are spelled out in text and mathematical formulas. I will forever be grateful for the sacrifices that she made to give me life. As I sat in the forest where my mother loved to spend her time, tears rolling down my face for the treasure I have lost but also gained, I realized that my mother got to live her love story 
and that is something worthy to celebrate. As my four-year-old told me on his first day of school, I miss my mommy, and I'm, um, and uh, so as I lay my head down on my pillow tonight, I feel the gratitude of having her soul be within, within me to guide me to be the man I'm going to 